Okay, so that's the uh, Citibench R15 tops score in the dual core category. Extremely hard to get to the issues with the G7400 on uh, this motherboard. So there's definitely something wrong because uh, I get weird hangs all over the place. I need to use slow mode from start to finish to do this. So, uh, but at least, so uh, 937 previous top score by Nick from Germany at 935. Well above. Uh, 6.3 gigahertz on this one like 6350 so it's definitely not the CPU it's the board but I'll keep trying let's see what happens And okay, here's the GPU Pi 1 billion record score the dual core category. 4 minutes 19.878 seconds. The previous top score was by Safe Disk from Asus at 4 minutes and 22 seconds. So almost like a 3 second improvement at 6475 ish. So very high frequency. And it seems that the GPU Pi is the only test where the efficiency seems correct. So here the performance seems what it should be based on this clock frequency. So uh, pretty good, I guess. Huge record score overall, if you ask me. So I have to keep slow mode on in between the runs to maintain stability. So uh, I did save the uh, screenshot with the uh, actual clock speed. So here, 6475 on the core, two cores and four threads. Z690 Dark Kimpin, beta bars from early March of this year and 5423 on the cache and 3324 on the memory so uh, 6650 or so DDR5 273737 26 command rate 1 so yeah pretty awesome if you ask me okay so those are pretty much the results with the brand new G7400 the results were completely amazing and not so amazing at the same time so I got a few very nice scores, but the very same issues still uh, happened with the CPU, like what I already saw with my two other pretty good G7400s. So I got the rank 1 score in Cinebench R15 and in GPU Pi 1 billion. The only test that was completely solid from the get-go without any performance issues was the GPU Pi 1 billion. It could be that I have some uh, like IMC related issues because GPU Pi 1 billion doesn't really re require like too high memory and it doesn't really stress the memory or the IMC that much. So uh, a very nice margin on the GPU Pi 1 billion of like 3 seconds or so. R15, the new score is 937. The previous rank 1 score was uh, 935, so it's just, just a tiny bit higher than the previous rank 1. Then I got uh, the rank 2 score on Y-Cruncher 1 billion. That one I'm sure I could nail if I got the whole thing like working like how it should work. So there's definitely some issue in the BIOS on the motherboard and the, the motherboard itself seems to be a little bit faulty already. So the uh, first PCI Express slot only operates at x8 when it should be uh, running at x16 and the second slot over there only runs at x4 when it should be running at x6 uh, at x8 sorry so i cannot run 3d on various different graphics cards like uh, how i should be able to do so i will be returning this motherboard anyways to evga and i'll try to work on this issue with the EVJ BIOS team to get the G7400 working as it should. The 12300 was completely alright from the get-go. So that one was definitely awesome. 
now like uh, last week or so when we had the little event with Joe Kart, I managed to improve my previous runs by like 50 megahertz or so so I got the CPU up to like 6.1 gigahertz but yeah so the this particular G7400 is absolutely like a gem like it's so amazing finding so that I'm really I'm actually happy about myself the highest frequency I actually uh, got the CPU to was uh, up to like 6.6 .6 gigahertz so I so the highest PCLK I managed to run in Geekbench 3 was 178 megahertz so 178 times 37 that's a tiny bit under 6.6 .6, like 6.58 something like this and it did pass Geekbench 3 but the performance again wasn't correct like what it should be then I upped the PCLK uh, to 178.5 but then but that then hang during the test so uh, the CPU is definitely awesome if I had like a working setup it should be able to rock all of the different leaderboards in the dual core category on hardwareboard.org the hardest test to nail the rank 1 score is definitely the x2654k in that test the CPU didn't like to run that high uh, clock frequency Cinebench R20 I had a lot of issues again so the performance is not correct like what it should be that same thing happened in R15 as well so I had to run very high clock frequency in R15 to um, beat the previous rank 1 score so, so so there's definitely some performance related issue and it could be well it's either like uh, I'm sure it's CPU microcode slash BIOS related issue but it could also be tiny bit related to uh, IMC like for example the GPU Pi 1 billion that one doesn't really stress the uh, IMC or the memory that much and that one was completely all right as I already said but yeah so the highest score I submitted in R20 was only 2511 when I should be scoring somewhere around like 254x or 2550 plus at this uh, frequency level uh, Geekbench 3 the highest score I saw or what I got was 22,100 something but I didn't save that score because I was just so keen on pushing and pushing and pushing for the rank 1 score so the current rank 1 score is by Nick somewhere around 22,300 something so the highest score I saved and submitted was uh, I think it was like 22,017 so just a tiny bit over 22k but doesn't really matter I'm sure I could nail the Geekbench 3 top score the Y Cruncher 1 billion top score the Citibench R20 top score so the only like really difficult one will be the X2654 K but at least I got something it's always better to achieve at least something than nothing at all so uh, now I'm very like uh, close to Splave and OGS on hardwarebot or hardwarebot.org global ranking so if I manage to find a top-notch 12900KS I could actually have a chance on seeing myself on the rank 1 uh, position on the whole global ranking but of course that's not that's not very important the most important thing about this whole hobby is that it's fun and that we learn something new every time we run these parts on LN2 so uh, that's the uh, most important thing at least for me anyways but we'll see so uh, I just want to get all of these things fixed and I want to see what's the real maximum performance of the CPU because the CPU is definitely amazing it's actually a retail CPU but for some reason the CPU Z program mentions that it's an engineering sample I haven't tested it at all on water so I will be testing it on uh, water cooling on the next video so definitely stay tuned for that one if you want to see how it performs on water cooling I think it should do at least 5.5 or 5.6 gigahertz in Cinebench R20 but that will be for the next one so uh, definitely check out all of these different uh, scores on hardwarebot.org if you are interested in them and uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel maybe check out my patreon page as well if you want to support my work and yeah thanks for watching one of my videos once again and i will see you on the next one